She hears those birds. Can you hear those birds? <laughs> We're surrounded. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Go no, go went over to that tree. How funny. Oh, it's cold out there. Yuck. Cold and drizzly. Nasty. I hate this kind of weather. Oof, don't like being cold. I'm ripping up some old decking <laughs> and there's a bunch of frogs so I'm throwing them behind this board or not throwing them but putting them behind this board because I can't kill things <laughs> and why would I want to kill a docile peaceful frog I guess I'll relocate them in a bucket or something <laughs> and uh, this is where all the frogs are I just pulled up a bunch of wood. I'm still pulling up wood. So I'm being careful. I don't want to hurt the little guys. But yeah, all that was uh, old wood decking. You can see remnants of wood over here. It's all going bye-bye. Tell you what, I will never use this kind of stuff again. Never. What a mess. Yuck. And there you are. There's more. <laughs> and I am using gloves. Definitely using gloves. I just dropped that one on the ground by accident. Oh, yay me. And I learned that you pick them up. Don't pick them up from the bottom. Or don't let their bottom touch you because they will pee on you. I took my glove off so I could use the phone. Another hatch of frogs. <laughs> I don't know if you call them a hatch or not, but... Uh, Frogs everywhere. One over here too. Put my gloves back on and relocate them. Okay, I'm still working. <laughs> this whole area was wood pallets, so I have these plastic pallets. Not the whole area, where that uh, generator is right there. That is uh, plastic pallets, and I have some plastic pallets here. So I'm just gonna lay down, I'm kind of, first of all, <laughs> Let me get myself organized. Use this magnet to pick up any nails off the ground. And then I'm going to spread diatomaceous earth on the ground because when one of my neighbors moved, we got roaches. Right now, I've only seen two, but two is already too many. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, spread the diatomaceous earth down and then I'm gonna lay these these uh, plastic pallets down. That way when I leave, I can just stack them and people can come and take them. So I'm gonna go back to work now, pick up some more nails. That was just one small swipe, <laughs> but all those pallets had nails in them, so have to pick those up too. 
And the reason I have this is because um, one guy that was repairing something for me was a tool thrower. And he threw some of my bits and stuff. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I had to get this to go find them. But it's kind of cool because when it finds something, you can hear it snap onto it. I just picked up another one. In fact, you can see that one. So at least I get to use it. I would like to get a good magnet and go magnet fishing one day. I think that would be fun. If you don't know what magnet fishing is, you stand by a pier on more shallow type waters and uh, you drop a magnet and you, it picks up stuff. And then that way it's better for the ecology too because you can uh, dispose of it in the proper manner. Okay, let's see what we've picked up. Yeah, I've picked up some more. So I will continue to do this and then we'll do the diatomaceous earth. Put my gloves back on. Get back to work. There are quite a few nails in there. It's kind of hard to tell, but there are quite a few nails in there already. And what I'm doing just to make sure I'm going over the same area several times, but I'm kind of raking it each time too, just to make sure, since it's not a real strong, strong magnet this way, anything that this rakes up, it'll pick up. I want to go ahead and put this pallet over here just to get it out of the way. I cannot uh, move that big block because the tires are sitting on it. So, and I think the smaller pallet will fit over that. And I've got this area raked. I don't have the entire area raked yet. I just kind of want to do this one small section because I need this pallet out of my way. <laughs> and this area is done over here. And there's my diatomaceous earth. And I have a spreader, but I saw this in my bay that I had saved for this type of purpose. So I'm just going to use this. So I'll fill this up and then I'll spread the uh, diatomaceous earth around. It looks like I had some spillage, but it doesn't matter. It's all going down here on the ground anyhow. This is an old pepper corn container so okay let's do this and the breeze is picking up what the heck there hasn't been a breeze all day and this will keep the bugaloos away There we go. I'll continue and just do this whole area. Well, it doesn't quite fit like I'd like it to. The feet of the pallet are sitting on top of this. Um, but you know what? I'm going to worry about that later. I'm just going to get this area finished. And then we'll arrange all these things here. Fun, fun, fun. Alrighty, I have it all prepared. Uh, no more nails, as far as I know. I went over the area several, several times, raked it as I went along, and uh, I'm gonna go get my solid rubber pallets and put them up in the front area, and then the ones with holes in them, they can go down there further. The only reason I'm doing this, you know, I would stack them up and get rid of them, but uh, my sight floods when it rains. So I really, really need to be able to do this, unfortunately. I'd rather just stack them up and get rid of everything, but because um, I want to leave in about a month, if it's possible. Man, cross your fingers for me. I need to get out of here so bad. And uh, But I'm still waiting on the mechanic. And he's ran into a few issues himself, so hopefully we can get this wrapped up this month. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, start laying down 
the solid pallets now. Oh yeah, I gotta put this little gate up first. This is to keep the dogs from running away. <laughs> I put it under the RV, along the RV, and then over here I have lattice work. Okay, that's it for now. Oh, I'm beat, I'm beat. I've been at this for two days now. And uh, <laughs> I don't have the best back in the world, so it's taken its toll on me. But uh, I also don't have extensive funds to pay people to do stuff for me. So I do it myself. So I got the plastic pallets down here, the solid ones, and I put a old rug down here that I had laying around. Of course, the wood steps. Uh, the old rug will get thrown away. The wood steps will, somebody else will take them. They'll take these pallets, whatever, when I leave. I'll leave that chair for somebody to take. This little table here, uh, it's full of stuff right now, but um, it folds up, so I could actually take it with me if I wanted it. I'm not too sure what I want to do, though. I've got tables in the RV, so I really don't need excessive stuff, do I? And, uh, of course, my propane tanks are over here. Yes, it's a motorhome with an onboard propane tank, which lives in here. But since it's out of commission and people don't deliver propane in this area, I do the swap-out tanks instead. And my little water fountain. Whew, so that's it for now. I'll finish up the rest of this mess later because it is a real mess. <laughs> Oh boy, and uh, there, there's a big generator. I gotta sell it, it's really big. It's 200 pounds. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe, I paid $750 for it. I mean, it's a nice generator. It's a Briggs and Stratton. And um, I'm hoping that maybe the mechanic will want to barter for this also. Let me show it to you. keep this cover over it of course. The barbecue covers work pretty well. And then my gas can and then the generator here. Troy built. It's a Troy built with a Briggs and Stratton motor. So it's pretty cool. Powerful. Lot, really powerful. And I think it runs, I forget, maybe eight hours on a tank or maybe more than that. I don't remember now. There's my other generator, which I still have to fix. It's a hundred pounds. And uh, I can put that on my cargo carrier and take it with me. This I cannot. This is just way too big and it's very, very loud. That one's not nearly as loud. So, because I do have an onboard generator on the motorhome, but it's not working right now. And actually the onboard generators eat a lot of gas. So I'll just take that one with me. Always good to have another one. That one, yeah, that one will have to go bye-bye. Like I said, I hope the mechanic will want to barter for that too. Otherwise, I'll sell it. <laughs> so, I'm done for the day. Uh, this has been a job done for the day. Freezer. Gotta sell it. It's a really nice little stand-up freezer. Don't have room for it. It, it, it uh, served its purpose when I needed it. I don't need it anymore because I went with the 12 volt compressor uh, units. And then here's a refrigerator just to give away. So that was donated to me, so I'll just pay it forward. Because when my refrigerator went out, my neighbor was kind enough to give me that. And then I needed a freezer because this hardly has a freezer. So I bought the freezer. Whew, okay, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully I'll get back tomorrow on this and be done with it. I hope. Uh, for now, I just turned on my water heater so I could take a shower. A much needed shower. Okay, catch y'all in a bit. Maybe tomorrow, rather. Catch y'all tomorrow. Hopefully. If I can walk. If I can move. Oh, and the other reason to not get those nails up is those are brand new tires. So about $1,600 worth of brand new tires, including the spare tire also. <sighs> so, yeah, I can't afford to get a hole in one of those or mess them up. That was uh, part of the flooring that I put on top of the decking. And this is all the rotted stuff.
pretty bad. And those, those were dog beds, but they wore out. I can't carry them, so just get rid of them. The two bottom pallets were actually in the dog yard. But they are rotted too. <laughs> They're brittle. Dangerous. Pile of junk here to get rid of. And then uh, I got this little area over here to work on. I've been living here since 2014. This used to be a really, really super cute little sitting area. But as you can see, the chairs are done in. The pads need to be thrown out. I used to have nice white marble um, little stones on this little pathway. Of course, the, this past winter just threw leaves and stuff on everything. But I'm going to get rid of all this too. Throw those chairs away. Throw those mats away. Clean up this area. Stack my pots. And give them away. Got a bunch of pots here. And so my chimney. I love my chimney, but I can't use it here anyhow. New management. Well, actually, no. It was um, about a year, I guess, after I took over. We decided no fires around here because it was too dangerous. Because it's not a campground. It's an RV park. With the RVs sitting pretty close to each other. So, it's not safe to have a fire in those conditions. None of the RV parks around here actually allow fires. I still have some tweaking to do, some stuff to clean up, <clears throat> but it's looking a whole lot better. A whole lot better. And uh, finally got to this area. So that's good. These are the plants that have survived. Which is good. I repotted this one and I repotted that one. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to leave them, but, you know, that's my favorite. This one right here is my favorite. But, because it has really pretty fragrant blooms on it when it starts blooming. And it'll bloom all summer long. I can't remember what it's called. But anyhow, and I have a thing of stones here. So, you know, quartz and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stones, but yeah, can't take those with me either. So I'll give those away. And uh, of course I have to sell the chimney. Can't use them here, but this area, everything's looking better. So that's pretty good. And of course I still have the mess over here to get all that thrown out and disposed of. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. I need to get it uploaded. This is my old stone pathway I did several years ago. I like it. Because when it, you know, <laughs> it gets muddy here when it rains. So, that helps a lot. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And live the life you love. And learn a lesson from this. Uh, you know, if you go to an RV park as a full-timer. And you're going to live there for a while don't get a lot of extra stuff because in the long run it's stressful and it's a lot to have to deal with when you leave catch y'all later live the lobby <laughs> catch y'all later have a good one thank you for watching and live the life you love goodbye ick it's turned cold and drizzly today we've already had one thunderstorm roll through and more to come. Fun. Fun, fun, fun.